Welcome to the wedding ceremony of John Paul Stevenson and Jessica Marie Burbank. Please be seated. We are gathered here in the presence of God and these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly, but sincerely and in dedication of life. Jess and Paul, do you come together, each of you, of your own free will, to be joined together as husband and wife? Is it your intention to love, honor, and cherish each other in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, as long as you both shall live? We, we do. do. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is a bond to be entered into only after considerable thought and reflection. As with any aspect of life, it has its cycles, ups and downs, trials and triumphs. With full understanding of this, Paul and Jess have come here today to be joined as one in marriage. We are here not only to witness your commitment to each other, but also to support you and wish you every happiness in your future life together. A marriage founded on sincerity and understanding will lead to a marriage of tolerance, confidence, and trust. We believe the qualities that have attracted you to each other can continue to develop during a life spent together in a happy marriage, enabling you to establish a loving and stable home where your children, family, and friends will always feel welcome. Besides love, respect, tolerance, and fidelity. May you always forgo pride and remember humility and humor. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, look mercifully upon your children and give them peace of heart and strength of spirit so they may honor the vows they make here today. May the promises they make inspire and instruct each of us who celebrates with them. And may we remember those who are not here in the physical world, but are here to celebrate with us in spirit. Amen. 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 A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians by Amy and John Vanderveer. speak in the tongues of mortals and angels that do not have love. I am a noisy gong or a clanging symbol. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions and hand over my hobbies that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror, dimly, but then we will see face to face. And now I know only in part that I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now, faith, hope, and love abide, these three, 
And the greatest of these is love. Would you please recite your vows to Jess? Jess, I give you my heart and all that I am on this day and all days to come. I give you my promise to love you and to care for you. I will be your rock and I'll support you in all that you do. I will walk with you hand in hand as we journey through life, living, laughing, and loving together. You are my person, my companion, my best friend, and we will always be better together. I love you. I apologize in advance for the many years of sarcasm you have to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. Mm. You'll see, that's coming up. Yep. <laughs> Let me pull out Jessica's book. Mm -hmm. You did cut it down. You cut it down. You did what you could. All right, you ready? All right. Uh, my dearest Paul, as I stand here with you in front of our loved ones, I can't help but think back to our beginning. You were my quiet, kind-hearted neighbor with the soulful eyes who always greeted me and Roxy with a smile and was willing to eat my occasional burnt holiday cookies. They're still good. From our coffee dates to our park picnics, 311 concerts to movie nights, our connection could not be denied. The life and love we have shared and built over these last eight years have made me so happy. They've brought me much peace and stability to my heart. Ever since our first kiss under our tree, I've been yours, devoted to you in every way. You have made me feel more love and more safety than I ever thought possible. You are my calming center, and you anchor me in rough times, and you're my favorite person to share life's highs with. I love your quick wit, even when it stings me a little, and the comfort we find in times of silence together. Our relationship is my most cherished gift. It gives me strength, it grounds me, and I promise to put every effort into strengthening it in turn through honesty, faithfulness, and patience. I promise to spend each day of our marriage working to become a more true version of myself and to help you do the same. I promise to accept you as you are, respect you as an equal, and always be by your side no matter what life throws our way. I promise to put extra love in every sandwich I make for you <laughs> and even share my ice cream on occasion. All right. You're the best friend my soul is attached to as its better half. I love you unconditionally without hesitation. With every breath and every day I will choose you because with you I am home. I love you. Should be passing tissues. Oh. <laughs> Let us pray. <clears throat> Lord, we ask that you may seal and strengthen the love between Jess and Paul, that you abundantly bless and enrich their union and mutual lasting fidelity, strengthen their consent, and be filled with your blessings. We ask this in your name. Amen. 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 Please, please. The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign signifying to all the uniting of man and woman. The ring is a circle, no beginning and no end. It signifies the circle of total commitment to each other. May God lovingly bless these rings as a symbol of their never-ending love and devotion to each other. Paul, take her ring and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I give you all that I am. I give you all that I am. And ever hope to be. And ever hope to be. Get on that. <laughs> and just repeat after me, Paul. Paul, 
With this ring. With this ring. I give you all that I am. I give you all that I am. And ever hope to be. And ever hope to be. And let us pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we ask that you may seal and strengthen again this love between Jess and Paul. Bless these rings as an always constant reminder of this day. Amen. 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 Jess and Paul have included a hand blessing. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours and on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. <coughs> These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still be giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Jessica and Paul would like to include their mothers. They will take part in a planting ceremony to symbolize the roots of their relationship and the continued growth of their love as they become each other's family today. <laughs> Paul and Jess, today you stand before us ready to share the rest of your lives together as a married couple. But long before today, your parents provided you with a foundation of love and caring which has brought you to this point. At this time, can I please ask for your mothers, Linda and Jane, to come up and combine the dirt to represent your two families becoming one. Love is the essence of human experience and emotion. It is the root of all and everything we as humans do. <laughs> Love enriches our experience and fills our lives with meaning. It gives us a firm base from which to grow, to learn, and to change. Let your relationship and your love for each other be like this plant today. Let it grow strong, weathering the challenges of daily life and the passage of time. Like this plant, marriage requires <laughs> constant nurturing and nourishment. Remember to always nourish each other with words of encouragement. Fertile by nature and nourished with love and attention, this blend of life's ingredients will be the foundation of great things to come. <laughs> We'll now have a reading, an excerpt from The Bridge Across Forever by Richard Batch, read by Amy and Andrew Weldon. A soulmate is someone who has locks that fit our keys, and keys that fit our locks. When we feel safe enough to open the locks, our truest selves step out, and we can be completely and honestly who we are. We can be loved for who we are and not for who we're pretending to be. 
Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person we're safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings, our sense of direction. When we're two balloons and together our direction is up, chances are we found the right person. Our soulmate is the one who makes life come to life. Much as Paul and Jess have consented together to be wed and have witnessed the same and have pledged their faith to each other and before these witnesses declaring the same to each other with the exchange of rings by virtue and authority vested in me as a cleric God and the state of Delaware I pronounce that they are now and forever husband and wife please kiss your spouse to seal the deal what God has brought together, be generously blessed forever. Go forth from this place with jubilation and gladness in your hearts and celebrate. Amen. 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 It is my honor, because I love this girl, <laughs> to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Paul and Jess Stevenson. <laughs>